Hi, class. Uh, Dr. Gast here, and uh, reporting from Lower River Valley, which is actually uh, near Tours, uh, France. Um, it's uh, uh, an old uh, medieval region uh, that they date about many centuries. Uh, I want to address you today about the uh, week nine with the pro forma forms. Uh, they seem rather extensive, but I want you at least to begin the process of uh, looking at each component of forecasting and estimating what your income and what your expenses will be for your make-believe company. Now, um, I thought with uh, the, the weeks that I'm out, it's helpful for you to begin this process, each individually kind of working through. We will meet together as a group uh, it, uh, in two weeks, and therefore you can then compare individually and maybe select which is the best of your group's uh, projection. Some of you may be a little confused, uh, and that's okay, that's just to be expected, uh, but do your best to kind of walk through this. Let me just talk you through a few points. Now, um, you will see the ability to click this on. It wasn't there immediately, but I, I've corrected that where you now see a business research assignment as an out-of-class activity in week nine. And so what you're doing is that you will have uh, to answer some questions, such as how profitable do you think the firm will be? Uh, what kind of financing do you think you want to uh, put all in equity, meaning you, uh, you have the money, the cash through savings, whatever the make-believe company is, you know, it, it's at your discretion. Um, but do you want to go more in debt or are you bringing more money to the table? And then will you have sufficient cash flows? Now, what I have developed here is um, Excel spreadsheets. Some of you may not have Excel on your computer or your phone. Generally, we don't have Excel sheets on phones, uh, so you need to go to your computer and do a spreadsheet. You could work with another member of your team, although we're not meeting in class, if you feel more comfortable saying with another class member. I, I'm not opposed to that, but uh, we're gonna do our best to try to use the Excel spreadsheets that are offered and you just fill in the areas that are blank. So we begin with trying to estimate the amount of sales. So that means you have to describe the unit. Now I mentioned this in class before, uh, a unit can be a bottle, one item. Uh, it could be in a carton, so you got 12. Um, if you were buying some, uh, let's say Coca-Cola, that comes many times in a six pack, that would be your unit. The six of those would be one unit, if that's the way you wanna describe it. Uh, some people could do it in a box, a carton, that has 24 items in that. That would be one unit, one box. Uh, you could describe it as being uh, a, a pallet where you have multiple boxes and you're selling a pallet of it. So most times in just starting out, our unit is very small because we're doing small amounts. So if you want to do it by item, by bottle, um, or if you want to put so many in a little uh, carton or case, that's up to you. And so you have to define what that unit is. It's important because that will affect your sales. If you're saying I'm selling one bottle or one carton, the cost is going to uh, vary of how much it costs to produce it and also how much you have to sell it for to have a profit. So you're going to determine after you say, I have this unit, uh, how many of those do you think you're gonna sell? And we're gonna divide this over 12 months because uh, there's 12 months in a year and this is gonna be our first year. Remember, it's gonna be slow in the beginning. And for some of you, you may have zero sales the first six months, that's okay. Um, you, this depends on the type of business, what you anticipate. You might have to do some research to say what's other companies like ours doing. You wanna to try to be as realistic as you can in the beginning. As you begin to build a history, 
you then can see better uh, where this is going. But sometimes we're just estimating uh, and do the best you can. Uh, there are uh, example of sales forecasting. Uh, you could be open um, 24 hours a day, uh, every day of the, uh, of the year, for instance. And so how many times uh, do you think you're going to, um, if it's a restaurant, that uh, the type of business is saying you've got so many chairs, how, what's going to be your turnover? How many people, how many people are going to come in your restaurant every, uh, every day? or on certain days. Maybe you're only going to be open on the weekends. And I'll keep it simple. But this is our method of getting a feel for the business. And so I want you to work at that. Uh, you're going to put in how much you think each unit is going to cost to produce or to, if you have a service, what does it uh, cost you? Now you have overhead. And that's the reason, um, just because, let's say I'm um, a psychologist and my services is, you know, I, you know what does it cost for me to uh, service you? But you still have an office, you have certain expenses that are required, and that's where we get into operating expenses or costs, excuse me. So uh, I want you to complete the rows in the spreadsheet This is operating costs. I think the rows are 7 through 15 on startup costs worksheet. You're only entering for one month. Just keep that in mind. So your operating costs, so we're dealing with a monthly, how much it costs to operate our business each month in the beginning here. You may have one-time startup costs. Uh, this could be uh, where uh, you have to buy furniture. Uh, or you may estimate and say, well, we're going to buy it at Goodwill, so our cost is going to be minimal. Uh, you can take whatever uh, approach that you want to take, you have to account for it. And therefore, if you need to uh, furnish an operation, you have to set aside so much money for that. And then finally, you're going to do your sales projection. And that's how profitable your business. So you have the operating expense. So you have some expenses to get it up and going and then like buying furniture uh, then you're going to have the operating expenses which is the keeping the lights on the electricity the mortgage or the uh, rental whatever those costs are that's going to be subtracted away from whatever projected revenue or what you think you're going to sell and that will net down your sales projection and the instructions are offered in the uh, research assignment, and that's what you would click on, and then you be able to, now I gave you the sheets earlier uh, under uh, our week nine, but now I've activated the business research assignment link, and that's where you would actually post it. Some of you have asked that question, so I'm trying to let you know that. Right. I think that pretty well covers this aspect of it. Uh, again, do not be overly concerned saying, oh, I don't know if I can get this done. Uh, I want you to do the best you can. And once you have uh, completed that, then there is a rubric that I'm using to grade. And that rubric shows that uh, you have... Uh, the points associated with this and uh, then we will uh, grade that when I get back uh, as a group and work through this again to make certain that we're on now keep in mind why this is important this is what you're going to be using uh, in your final project in this class so you may not want to use the group assignment that's what you're using to do these uh, spreadsheets right now you can apply it in a different context. I know some of you are interested in starting your own company. So in order to do that, you will have to uh, estimate. So that's where we're going. Uh, if you have questions, do text me. I'm picking up my text messages without too much problem now. I have been uh, restricted in areas uh, uh, where I'm not able to have the bandwidth to be able to upload. Uh, but I do now, okay? So uh, I am hope that you're having a, a good October. It's not, uh, I hope some rain has come. 
Uh, it's been raining terribly hard here. Uh, that uh, it's not good for the crops. It's not good for um, the uh, tourism in industry, which is heavy in these parts of France. So, but I hope to join you very soon. Okay, take care. I'll be with you soon.